Well, the bench is clean a little bit, and uh, I do appreciate the concern. Yeah, it seems as always, everything kind of just rolls right over, and uh, never some terrible things that they predict. But, uh, well, I said the bench is clean. Yeah, I have two of these little glorious ones here. This is the uh, <laughs> Cybernet version of the uh, 148 GTL, and that's a B version. And above it there is our Superstar 2000. These weren't acting too well, and uh, so I'm going to let them go. The old uh, motor junkie way, um, I'm going to just let them powered up for uh, maybe two or three days, see how they act. But yeah, I was able to tune in on the uh, 148, but the, uh, the Superstar, huh. And these are a pain to work on. Why did I get these? I have no idea, but uh, yeah, I have the bench clean right now. I do have that North Star. Um, once I do something with all that, but hey, life gets in the way. You see that green grass out there. All that has to be mowed. I have to do it. I have to find time to do that and everything else. So yeah, there's going to be a little bit of a break. Uh, you should try and do something by Sundays or whatever, but, um, yeah, I've been, uh, going through stuff, boxing stuff up, selling stuff off. It's been very fun to do, give them to people that enjoy these radios. I haven't listed that, uh, 5010 because I have another one I'm going to actually pair with that power supply that is, uh, in really good shape and, uh. Yeah, like I said, I have more than one. What's the point? I'm not giving up on CB radio. I'm just taking a little bit of a break from a lot of stuff anyway. And, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm hating on CB or CB radio. Love it. Grew up on it. Enjoyed it immensely. Bothered my parents to get an antenna. Do, did the whole thing. I have no problem with that. But yeah, I am stepping back from a lot of this other technology. CB radios is one of the ones that's fallen to the wayside and a lot of other hobbies I have that uh, I don't even mention on the channel. But uh, yeah, they've kind of fallen away as well. Life uh, gets in the way sometimes. And I always remember people update blogs on radio mods and stuff like that. And they always ended up like disappearing his life gets in the way. I'm not going anywhere, but uh, yeah, I gotta warm these old girls up for some time. But yeah, I have really nothing else. Uh, minus me going through my storage unit, which was the start of this channel and to show my dad what I was doing. But uh, yeah, it's a ton of stuff I have to get rid of. And man, I get hammered. Trying to just get rid of it. If someone wants it, uh, yeah, there's always offers out. And um, that's not a problem. And, uh, yeah, if you find a, a better use for this stuff, that's all my intent is. Way too many radios. Like I said, and my father told me, you have one mouth, two ears. You don't use your ears at all. And even still, you just have one mouth. Ha ha. Funny, funny. But uh, in that same regard, it, you can only use one radio at a time. And I don't want any of these going to waste. So I'm trying to get rid of them just like I used to way back in the day. 20 years ago on eBay. It was a whole different ball game. You actually had, to, you had a whole bunch of hams that didn't want to get these export radios out to people. So they would poo-poo your listing and it would be gone quickly. I'm just trying to get rid of it and pass it on to other people. I don't want them sitting here. Do you want them sitting here? I don't. I don't want them in my closet. I love them. Every one of the radios I'm selling or getting rid of going to people. But, uh, yeah, I have that North Star 88 on hold. Like I said, life gets in the way. I got two more here. I'm just kind of going through inventory. And I kind of released that video early on the uh, 5010 original. So I will redo that. Um, I thought I had them all set up as private and, uh, you know, then I can go through them all. Because that's kind of what I'm trying to do is just uh, get them all documented, videoed, boxed up, get the proper shipping weights and uh, 
package dimensions, so you're not overpaying on shipping. But trying to give a functional radio, or if it's not a functional radio, what issues they are. So, yeah, these two, I'm going to let them sit a bit. And, uh, yeah, they're old, so they'll go up pretty soon, too. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to take a quick pause as far as trying to get good content out. Because, yeah, life gets in the way. Things go on. Things get in the way. Things happen. A lot of other things I got to do. A lot of tests, studying. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, I will say 73s. But uh, I do appreciate you all on the channel up there. It's 5.57. What? Thursday on the... Uh, the Eric Texo channel, five thirteen. Y'all gonna make me shy, but uh, yeah, I got some cool radios. Some of them work, some of them don't. I don't need them all. I don't want them all. So we'll say seventy three and see in the next video, and uh, probably some content down the road uh, sporadically. <music>